Good afternoon and welcome to the program. I am Alma Marcus. As Nigeria marks its independence with 64 years, it's also important that while we are looking at the developmental strides that have been achieved so far, it's important we look to the diaspora, the strides Nigeria is making on the international scene and how this would affect Nigerians as a whole. Well, today on the program, we would be speaking to the Secretary of the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission. He is no other than Engineer Sule. Basi. Well, today we spoke about the role of national developments in the diaspora. Well, on the, in the interview, you expect to hear about NICOM, its advocacies, and of course, its duties, and moving forward, what it would expect from the world. And of course, look at NICOM moving forward. Well, here's the interview. The Nigerians in Diaspora Commission was established in 2019 uh, through the passage by our parliament of the Nigerians in Diaspora Establishment Bill 2017. It was passed both at the House of Reps and also at the Senate of the National Assembly. And His Excellency President Muhammadu Buhari initialed and assented to the bill to set up a dedicated commission to deal with presently the over 20 million Nigerians that are in the diaspora. And uh, we are like the embassy of the Nigerians in the diaspora in Nigeria. Uh, the over 20 million Nigerians in the diaspora consists of two groups. The first group is the over 18 million modern diaspora. Those who went out and are outside the sovereign boundaries of Nigeria in the past 100 years. Some of them went because of education. Some of them went because of pursuing greener pasture. Some of them went because they were persecuted or they felt uncomfortable or they, were, uh, 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 they, they thought the insecurity that is around. So there are various reasons which we call the push factor. And there is also the pull factor. Uh, the world of today is a globalized world. And so there are countries that are looking for skill sets globally. Uh, the, 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 the world is a global village. You can walk and live anywhere in the world legitimately. Of course, there are the others that are exploiting it and are doing illegal things. Then we have the other group, which we call the historic African diaspora. There are over 2 million. You find them in North Africa, you find them in the Caribbeans, you find them in the Americas. These are people whose great, great, great grandparents were shipped out of Nigeria and West Africa through the slave trade. And now there is a technology, a DNA technology, that helps them to trace their roots. And believe you me, 75, more than 75 percent of those are tracing their roots to Nigeria. They are tracing their roots to their states in Nigeria and also their local governments. And many of them are so emotional and so serious about tracing their roots and they are finding their ways there. So NIDCOM, the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission, was set up to engage with these over 20 million Nigerians that are outside the sovereign boundaries of Nigeria for their own good, in terms of where they are outside there and also for their own good in relating with Nigeria. Mm. We have three uh, uh, cardinal uh, 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 principles of dealing with them. The first is to engage with them. We need to know who, where they are, who they are, and the skill set yep. they have. The other is to empower them and to say, look, the skill sets you have, you have to work excellently well where you are and then use whatever you have in terms of skill set, in terms of talents, in terms of global exposure to please remember home and invest at home. So we have to engage with them, we have to empower them and then we have to encourage them to invest in this we call it the three e principles of mm. engagement with the with the diaspora since setup 
we've developed so many programs in NITCOM to engage with these over 20 million Nigerians. The first thing we did on the takeoff of the commission with our chairman, CEO, Honorable Dr. Abike Dabri Irewa, is to develop the national diaspora policy. This policy was approved by the Federal Executive Council in 2021, and it spells out who the diaspora is, where they are, and how to engage with them, both in terms of engagement with the federal government, engagement with the state government, and engagement with the private sector, and engagement with the non-governmental organizations, both the community-based ones and the, uh, 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 the ones that just want to engage with the, with the diaspora. And so we have a national diaspora policy. Let me say that in Africa, we are the first country to have a national diaspora country, uh, uh, policy. policy. And as I'm talking to you, over 32 other countries have come to understudy how NITCOM engages with the Nigerians in the diaspora. The SADC countries, 22 of them, Namibia, Zimbabwe, Zambia, uh, Ethiopia, Kenya, uh, Tanzania, and even Mauritius, they've come here to understudy what, what we are doing in terms of engagement with, uh, with our diaspora. So we have a national diaspora policy. We also have an, uh, what we call the diaspora agenda which we call the three-point diaspora agenda. The first is that wherever you are as a Nigerian in the diaspora, you are our ambassador at large. Because others will read Nigeria based on your activities, mm -hmm. based on your comportment, and based on how you interact with them. So we call them, they are Nigeria's ambassadors at large. And like I said, they are all over the world. There is no continent and no country you go, you will not find a Nigerian. Okay. And we have a cliche here in NITCOM that if you go anywhere in the world and you don't find a Nigerian, don't settle there. Oh because it means there is no business. Is it in Iceland? You find Nigerians. Is it in Papaya, New Guinea, which is almost 24 hours flight from Abuja? You find Nigerians. Is it in Kazakhstan? You find Nigerians. Is it in, 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 in Russia? You find Nigerians. In Japan? you find Nigerians. On the African continent, I'm sure there is no country you go, you will not find a substantial uh, uh, population of Nigerians. And they are doing very well. They are ambassadors. The second point we tell them is that wherever you find yourself, be the best and excel. And is it in science and technology? Nigerians are excelling. Is it in engineering? Nigerians are excelling. Is it in, in, in governance and politics? Presently, we have uh, eight members of Congress in the US Congress from Nigerian descent. Mm -hmm. We have ministers in Canada. We have a mayor in, of Leeds, the third largest city in the mm -hmm. United Kingdom, uh, Abigail Khartoum. She is a, 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 a Nigerian. And you go all over the place. In India, you find Nigerians excelling and doing their best. In sports, everywhere, in fact, the Premier League in the UK, <laughs> if there is no Nigerian in, the, in your team, it's like you're missing something. Is it in music and dance? Okay. <laughs> you know, the O2 Arena in London is almost being christened a Nigerian in diaspora arena. Because Davido and all the others, when they go there, if you don't book one week before time, you won't get you a seat. They, they, they sell it out. Huh? Is it our cuisine? Nigerian jollof rice is all over the place. Huh? Then in Canada, one of the Nigerians from Lagos went and set up the Agege bread factory. Oh yes. And uh, now uh, the whites with their children is Agege bread they are eating. <laughs> in fact, he's opening a, a huge uh, network in the U.S. shortly. So Nigerians are making impact everywhere they they are. If, if you have any beauty pageant or whatever, if a Nigerian is not there, you know that something is missing. So we, we Nigerians are excelling brilliantly 
all over. Professors in America today, we have over 5,000 consultant medical doctors. They banded themselves under the Association of Nigerian Physicians in the Americas. And like Barack Obama acknowledged when he was president of the United States, he said, if you pull out Nigerians out of the health system in the United uh, States of America, that system will collapse overnight. We have nurses, we have laboratory scientists, we have all kinds of medical uh, personnel. They are all over excelling and world-class standards. The third point on our agenda is that, look, we are not telling people don't go out. That's not the message of NITCOM. Okay. But we are saying, when you go out, go out legitimately. Go out legally. Go out with your papers correctly. Don't go out through the desert. Don't go out through some agent of uh, 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 destruction. Uh, madams that are carrying girls all over the place and telling them they are going to do hairdressing and, and, and shopping and things like that. And then they end up in some very untoward situation. So we are telling them, when you go out, please go out legitimately. But while you are out, don't forget home. Okay? Don't forget home. Because home is home. You have talents, you have skills, you have global exposure. Please remember home. And uh, the press talks a lot about the Japa phenomena, especially among our youths under 35. But also we have the Paja phenomena. Many of our diaspora are also returning back home physically. Some are coming up to set up sports academies. Some are coming up to set up uh, shops. Some are coming up to, to set up hospitals. Some are coming up to set up entertainment centers. And uh, presently, we have several that have returned and contested elections and have won. The governor of Nasarawa State, Governor Abdullah Isule, he was in the U.S. for over 25 years. He is back. He has contested the election, won his first term. He won again. He is now doing his second term. The, 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 we have several legislators uh, uh, in the Senate, in also the House of Representatives that are back. They have contested elections, and they are there as our parliamentarians. Mm. We have several others that are also itching to come back and contest elections. And, and, and become uh, our own uh, diaspora people. Yeah. So it's a two-way something. Now let me uh, also say, several have come out also and are participating in transportation business. Some are into agriculture. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, some are into our, our diaspora. They are into agriculture. Some have come and set up hotels and, uh, and uh, are, are doing very well uh, all, over the, all over the place. And uh, the, the list goes on and on and on and on. There is no dull moment with our mm. diaspora. Even though we are having the Japa phenomena, we are also having the Paja <laughs> phenomena, where many are coming back mm. and also uh, engaging with the Nigerian economy. Some are also coming back and investing in the Nigerian stock market. Okay? Oh. So a lot are also coming. Then let me also point out that Nigerians in the diaspora, on the average, over the past six, seven years, they've brought in $20 billion, not Naira, $20 billion, as diaspora home remittances, in terms of cash, in terms of service goods and services, in terms of skill sets that they brought, brought back. These are World Bank uh, 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 figures. And just uh, in July this year, we had the highest ever monthly diaspora home remittance of 553 million dollars in the month of uh, 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 july mm. so our diaspora are engaged are engaging with the nigerian economy uh, effectively and midcom is midwife in this midcom is, is set up to encourage this midcom is set up to help them uh, 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 interact with the nigerian economy because let's put it if you leave your house for three days, mm -hmm. by the time you come back, you are a stranger. Yeah. Some of these people have been out there for 60 years. Yeah. 
some for 30 years, some for... So they, when they are coming back, they need somebody to guide them. Yeah. They need somebody to tell them that, look, oh, when you left, there was no road here. Mm. Now there is road. Aha, uh -huh. so you better listen to something. So many of them are engaging with NITCOM to come back, register their companies, look at the investment uh, 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 possibilities that are here. And we, 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 we have three huge programs that we engage with them. The first is the National Diaspora Day. Okay. Uh, the federal government of Nigeria declared July 25th of every year as the National Diaspora Day. On this day, we celebrate Nigerians in the diaspora. We tell them, look, we love you, we welcome you, we want you to engage with government, the private sector, we want you to engage with Nigeria and, and, and the like. So, NITCOM has celebrated that consistently for the past six years. We've celebrated National Diaspora Day for the past 18 years. Even before NITCOM was set up, we were celebrating it. As a follow-up to the National Diaspora Day, we also have the National Diaspora Merit Award, which is an award we give to diasporas that have engaged with the Nigerian economy on a continual basis for five consecutive years. Oh, okay. And every year we give that, that award. And we use, we use those the awardees as our diaspora champions mm -hmm. and also ask other diasporas to emulate them. By that, we are making the traffic to be a two-way traffic. Yeah. Turning the brain drain to brain gain and brain circulation. Okay, okay? That is what we come uh, that's, so that's our first flagship program. Okay. The second flagship program is the Badagri Door of Return Festival, oh, okay. which we, 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 we established and crafted purposely to celebrate the historic African diaspora, those whose great-great-great-grandparents were taken out through slavery. Mm -hmm. So we take them to Badagri in Lagos State. We usually handle that every October with the Lagos state government, with the private sector, we bring in several of our historic African diaspora. Many of them have done their DNA and traced their roots to Nigeria. So we take them to Badagri, they walk the slave trade route, and it's an emotional, spiritual journey just to uh, replay what their great, great, great grandparents went through mm. and many of them are also beginning to come back and invest mm. in nigeria some from jamaica some from uh, the u.s are coming back and setting up uh, uh, businesses mm. in nigeria mm. the country of their back we are still working on the fact that many of them want to also get nigerian citizenship oh. and you know our constitution allows for dual citizenship mm -hmm. but many of them are not meeting the criteria and we are trying we are working with the national assembly and also with the minister of interior honorable minister of interior to see how the constitution can be uh, uh, reworked to admit the historic african diaspora that have identified their dna with their roots in in nigeria that's the second major flagship program of the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission. We have the third program, which is the Nigerian Diaspora Investment Summit. Okay. We have a specific summit that comes up every November. And this year we are, we are having the seventh one in, in, in Abuja here. Mm -hmm. And we, we bring in diaspora investors who are looking for partners and ways to invest in all the developmental sectors of Nigeria, no matter how long you stay out there, you are still a second class citizen there. But in Nigeria, you are a first class citizen. And so, even though our development is uh, not as it, it is in terms of the developed world, but we are developing. Where you left three, four, five, twenty years ago is not where Nigeria is yeah. today. So come and also contribute your, your, your quarter. Uh, with technology now, you don't even need to leave uh, America to contribute mm. to Nigeria's development. Yeah. You know, you can be there and, and contribute positively to the development of Nigeria. Come and establish schools, come and set up training facilities, come and engage 
uh, 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 in upgrading the primary school that you went here mm. in Nigeria or the secondary school and things like that. Like I said, one of the Super Eagles players have yeah. come and set up three sports academies in Kaduna, in Kano, and in, in, in Jos. And he's working on setting up one in Lagos. I know of a Nigerian uh, engineer in Qatar. He got some funds from the Qatar Foundation. He's come and set up a water tree, a bottling plant in Adamawa State. And hmm. this is a billionaire in the making. I can almost tell you that. And there are several several other ways in which yeah. our, our diaspora can engage with the Nigerian economy. So our message to them is that mm. while you are there, you are our ambassador, represent us well. Okay? To excel in whatever you are doing and be the best. And thirdly, while you are there, don't forget home. Mm. Because home is home. And please, engage with home by investing some of your extra resources in the Nigerian economy. And there is a very high rate of returns on investment in Nigeria as of today. Mm. Yes, so we are encouraging them and, and pointing them and many of them are heeding the call and are, are, are coming back to invest in, in, in Nigeria. Others who are retiring there are also packing bags and baggages and shipping back and coming mm. and establishing businesses, businesses here, yeah. here in Nigeria. All right, we've been speaking with Engineer Basi. He is the Secretary to NICAM. Of course, that is the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission. We have been speaking about the role of the diaspora in national development. You could hear they touched a, he touched a couple of topics, including diaspora voting and the remittances that we're getting from the diaspora. We are still watching Global Digest on ADBN. We'll take a break and return with more reports. Stay with us.